Hello everyone, this is Dr. Surya. So today we are going to solve some problems on most economical rectangular uh, channel. So we'll come back to the first problem. So a rectangular channel of width 4 meter is having a bed slope of 1 in 1500. Find the maximum discharge through the channel and take C is equal to 50. So this is the problem given to us. So whenever a problem is given to us, first write the given data. So if, if you see the given data, they have given the width. So we will usually will tell the width as B. So B will equal to 4 meter. And they have given the bed slope. So we denote our bed slope as S0. S0 is equal to 1 by 1500. And next given data is C is equal to 50. C is nothing but our chess is constant. So any other data is not given to us. Even our depth or uh, we have to get our discharge actually. So if this a problem is coming like that just note the keyword or hint word uh, you have to read the problem again and again to capture the hint word uh, here they have given that find the maximum discharge which means our Q is maximum discharge is going to be maximum if the discharge is going to be maximum means the condition will be channel is most economical channel so this is what you have to see the keyword is given here is maximum discharge so maximum discharge means channel will be the most economical section and we can apply the condition say b is equal to 2d and r is equal to d by 2 so we can apply this condition and we can get the other values okay now this is going to be the conditions so keep this so this is the hint given to us in the problem so these are the given data now they have asked us to determine the discharge so next is that we have to write what is the formula we are going to use in this problem so we have to find the discharge so which means we have to get the value of q so in order to get the value of Q, here the given hint is Chessy's constant. So Chessy's constant means we have to use our Chessy's formula. So the formula will be A into C of root of Rs0. So we know the value of C in this formula. We know the value of S0 in this formula. The unknown is going to be A and R. So we have to get the value of A and R. So for in order to get the value of A, we have to use the formula B into D. Okay, in order to get the value of R, we have to use the formula of A by P. Otherwise, we have to use, since because the channel is economical one, the formula will be D by 2. Okay, so D by 2 means D the value of, we have to get the value of D. So in order to get the value of D, again, there is one more condition, which is B is equal to 2D, or D will be equal to B by 2. Okay, so these are the formula we are going to use. So just see here, I have written the given data and I'm, I have written the formula. Now we'll move on to the solution slowly. Okay, so solution is first I'll get the value of D. So only if I get the value of D, I can substitute here for uh, D and I can get the value of R. And then after that I will be calculating my area. Then only I can substitute in the discharge and I can get the value of discharge. So first we'll move on to the solution. Okay, so in the solution d is equal to b by 2 which means 4 by 2 so my d value is 2 meter okay and from here area is b into d the value of b is 4 and your depth is 2 that is going to be 8 meter square next i have to get the value of r so which is r is equal to d by 2 which is 2 by 2 is equal to 1 so now if you take the formula, I know the value of A, I know the value of C, I know the value of R and also I know the value of S0. Just substitute and get the answer. So which is Q is equal to AC root of RS0. So A value is 8, C value is 50 and R value is 1 and S0 value is 1 by 1500. So the discharge value will be equal to 10.328 meter cube per second. Okay, how this meter cube per second came? So generally we are having the formula Q is equal to AV. Okay, so instead of V only, we are substituting as C into root of R S0. So they just have the look at the unit. For area, the unit is meter square. 
okay for velocity is meter per second so the unit for discharge will be meter cube per second so don't by heart just understand and do it it will be very easier to understand the unit so we'll see one more problem also a rectangular channel carries water at the rate of 400 liters per second when bed slope is 1 in 2000. Find the most economical dimensions of the channel if C is equal to 50. So this is the problem given to us. So first we are going to write the given data. So the given data is going to be, uh, they have given that at the rate of, okay, it means and see the unit liters per second. So it means they have given the value of Q. Q is going to be 400 liters per second. So if anything is given in liters, we have to convert it into meters or meter cube. So 1000 liters is equal to 1 meter cube. So that is the conversion. So we, your conversion should be very, you should be very careful in the conversion. So if this is given in liters, we are going to divide it by 1000. That is 400 divided by 1000 meter cube per second. So the value of Q is going to be 0.4 meter cube per second okay so see at the rate is given and see check the unit also liters per second so liters can be converted into meter cube that is meter cube per second meter cube per second means the value of q is going to be given is given to you now slope value slope is given as that is your s naught value is given as 1 in 2000 and c is equal to 50 which means we are going to use our chassis formula now what we have asked to determine is the most economical dimensions which means we are going to get the value of our uh, value of our width and depth for most economical rectangular channel so if that is the case we have to apply the conditions okay so what are the conditions or formula formula we are going to use so the first formula will be that you have to get the value of q q is equal to ac into root of r into s naught so in this c value is known to us s naught value is known to us again the unknown values is going to be b and d so if b and d is known only we can easily calculate the value of a okay so now what i am going to do is that i am going to apply the condition for the most economical section so the conditions will be b is equal to 2d and r is equal to d by 2 okay so this is the condition now in order to get the value of a i can substitute a a is equal to b into d and instead of this let me keep this as equation 1 equation 2 and this as equation 3 okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to substitute one in equation number three which is a will be equal to instead of b i'm substituting 2d into d so which is going to be 2d square so a is equal to 2d square this may be my equation number four let this be equation number a okay now what i'm going to do is that r is already in d a also we have converted into d square now what we can do is that we'll substitute this uh, fourth equation and second equation in a okay so substitute second and fourth equation in a equation so a equation is q is equal to a c into root of r s naught okay so we'll move on to the solution that is q is equal to instead of a i can substitute 2 d square c into root of instead of r i can substitute d by 2 into s naught now the solution will be i know the value of q that is given in the problem as 0.4 so 0.4 is equal to 2 into d square the value of c is going to be 50 and root of d by 2 and the value of s naught is going to be 1 by 2000 okay so if you see here all the equations are in d so the only unknown is going to be d so we can resolve it very easier so on substituting or, or rearranging i will be getting 1.581 d power 5 by 2 is equal to 0.4 okay how I got my d power 5 by 2? It is very simple. I am having d, d power 2 here. And here it is going to be d power 1 by 2. 
okay so if i am adding this which becomes 2 plus i am adding only the powers 2 plus 1 by 2 which becomes 4 plus 1 by 2 and that is 5 by 2 so this is how i got the power as 5 by 2 and 2 into 50 into root of 1 by 2 into 1 by 2000 i am getting the value of 1.581 so on resolving this okay i am getting uh, my d value that is d is equal to i just keep my d power 5 by 2 is equal to i am bringing this down i'll be getting 0 0.253 okay so which is d power 5 by 2 is equal to 0 0.253 and if i want to get the value of d d is equal to 0 0.253 just inverse the power which is 2 by 5 so from this I am getting the value of D as 0.577 meter and we know the condition that is B is equal to 2D. So B is equal to 2 into 0.577. So the value is going to be 1.154 meter. So the economical dimensions are. So you have to write the result that is most important. So the, the most economical you can write it in this way the most economical dimensions of a rectangular channel or most economical rectangular channels or rectangular channel are width is equal to 1.154 meter and depth is equal to 0.577 meter thank you and happy learning